Hello and welcome back. Today I will be making a little diorama base for this submarine I built some time ago. I hope you enjoy. I am starting with a block of XPS foam I cut into the right size. I want the submarine to come out of the water to surface. I am using a pencil to outline where I have to remove the foam. Then I use a simple hobby knife to carve a hole right into the foam block. The submarine can't fit with the propeller and all those fins in the back. So I have to use my side cutters to remove all the unnecessary parts that won't be visible in the end anyway. Now everything fits like I imagined it. Regular kitchen foil is used for the waves. Since some of the water is still above the submarine, I have to shape the foil around it. This also fills any larger gaps I made during the carving. This allows me to later slide the submarine into place after painting without the need for any masking. I am filling the gap with some regular PVA glue. The glue will dry hard and create a strong bond, but still gives you some working time for adjustments. Since there is no glue where the sub touches the foil, I can use it as a guide for a correct placement. Don't forget to glue all parts to reduce the chance of it tearing apart at a later stage. Some additional parts of kitchen foil are used for the remaining waves and to create a more interesting surface texture. Now I have to cover the entire surface with a layer of PVA glue. After that I take a bigger piece of kitchen foil and place it flat above the surface. This makes the surface more even and softens it for a more realistic look. The wrinkles that are created look like small waves, which adds additional details to the surface. The submarine is used again to ensure it fits nicely into the diorama. After the glue has dried, I use yet another layer of the same PVA glue on top to seal everything. You could use Mod Podge, but we don't have that here. After drying, I mix some white paint water and PVA glue as the primer. I cover the whole surface with this mixture to create a strong surface. This sea blue from AK Interactive is used as the base layer of blue. I am using a 0.5mm nozzle on a cheap Fengda airbrush. Already the diorama looks a lot more like an ocean. This sea blue from Meng and AK is a little bit lighter than the other one. This is used for the turbulent water behind and around the submarine. To make the water look like actual water and wet, I am applying a generous layer of gloss varnish from Vallejo. I really like how it looks already, and the sub still fits in perfectly. Since the painting is finished now, I can glue it in place with some PVA glue. The glue also helps to fill in some of the remaining gaps. I don't really like how this part back here looks. I will try to fix it with this ocean gel from Mick. I use it to soften the edges and fill in any unnatural holes. The gel will dry in a transparent blue color in the end. While it won't be the same blue as the rest, I will take this to my advantage. Now comes the sea foam. I am applying the paint directly onto the still wet water gel. This creates the effect of turbulent water with lots of air bubbles in it. The foam is the strongest right next to the submarine and disappears towards the sea. Pat the dry brush around the edges to create a smooth transition. I use cotton and PVA glue for the water that runs off the submarine. A brush is used to move the fibers in an even direction and to create the look of flowing water. The 
the water on these fins was a little bit more difficult as it has to run down on a slight angle. But with enough glue and patience I got a result I liked in the end. With this wet effects fluid I will give it the right shine. It's a thick liquid with a glossy effect, but a coat of glossy varnish would probably have the same effect. Now all that's left is to paint the base black and the diorama is finished. This was my first attempt at an ocean diorama. While there's definitely room for improvement, I am quite happy with the result. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment and subscribe to not miss any future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.